Hey everybody, Chris Meeks with PrintTech here. Today we're going to go over how our Amazon integration works with Amazon Custom. In previous videos, we went over how to connect your PrintTech account with your Amazon store and how to build a personalized product in your PrintTech dashboard. Now that we have the product built here, you can push this product over to your Amazon store. Also in the edit personalization options, you can set whether or not you want this product to auto fulfill or if you want to manually review every order as they come in. Moving over to our Amazon account, we can come up to custom products and click on enable customization for the product that we want to customize. And here Amazon needs a 400 by 400 pixel to use as a preview image. Going back over to our PrintTech dashboard, we can click on this download blank link, which downloads our mockup without the personalization area. All we need to do to this file to be able to use it is resize it to 400 by 400 pixels. Now if we go back to Amazon Custom, we can upload an image from our computer, select the image that we just resized, and use that as a preview image. Coming down here to Type of Customization, we're going to change this to Text Customization. And for this product, we're only going to add one customizable field. If your product has more than one customized field, you can add multiples here. Clicking on Add Customization, we can now draw where we want the personalization text to be displayed on the garment. Here we can specify a label for the text area and specify a character limit. We can also select if we want to make this customization required for customers when ordering our product. After that, we need to scroll back to the top and select the fonts tab. In here, we can specify what font we want to be used for this product. All the fonts in here by default are set to inactive, so you have to click on edit, set it to active, select done, and then check that font to be used. If you want to be able to use a specific font on your listings, you can upload custom fonts within Amazon by clicking Add Fonts here. All of the fonts used inside of PrintTech are Google Fonts. You can download any of those fonts by going to fonts.google.com. I'll put a link to that in the description. In here, you can search for the specific font that you want to download, click on the plus sign, and come down here and select Download. After that, you can upload that font to your Amazon custom listing. You also need to specify a color to be used. So in this case, we want white text to be used. And I know that the hex code for white text is all Fs. This hex code that is used here is going to be the same hex code that was used when you created the product in your PrintTech dashboard. After clicking Add Color, we can now select Save and Finish. and our customization options are set for that product. You'll notice that it can take up to a couple of hours before the personalization options are displayed. Now that our product is available for customization, we can click on Customize Now and see a preview of the customization in action. After an order is placed for this product, the order will be automatically imported into your PrintTech dashboard. The artwork will be generated automatically and will flow through the fulfillment process like normal. If your product is set to not auto-fulfill, you'll get an email letting you know that there is an order with missing personalization that needs your attention. Coming in here, we can see that on this product, the personalization that was entered was Chris. Clicking on Edit Personalization, I can enter that information and see a preview of the generated image. Once I'm happy with the look and feel of this product, I can release the hold on this order and send it off for fulfillment.